It's not a common sight to see children in South Africa's townships participating in a weightlifting sport. However, these teenagers are going against the grain and lifting heavy metal as a form of discipline and fitness. One of the coaches says the inspiration behind establishing the gym was to keep the children out of trouble. I would say like most sports, uh, some people would, would think it's, it's a white people's sport, which is not. Uh, I'd say every sport is for everyone. So that's why we started weightlifting. Uh, one thing we noticed is that most people had this thing of, you know what, it's weightlifting, so it must be a rich person's sport. So we decided to bring the sports here because of what we saw in the sport, the fundamentals, the discipline, and the hard work that needs to be a weightlifter. So after we saw that, we were like, hey, why don't we apply this uh, in Soweto and see how many lives we can change. So after that initial thought, we started Soweto Weightlifting Club. And like I said, it's been nothing but hard work from us, the coaches, and the athletes here. This 18-year-old weightlifter says, while the sport is dominated by men, her passion is driven by how much her self-esteem has grown since she started six months ago. For me, it's been a lovely sport. I fell in love with it and I'm just confident and it, I'm just happy that it brings up my confidence. I've been watching videos of it and mostly that I know it's not, I know it's meant for men. So I thought maybe I should look on the internet, maybe I'll find ladies. And I saw it, so I just felt, felt, felt in love with it. Outside of weightlifting, gym owners say their next project is to build a community center out of shipping containers with a strong emphasis on academic development in Soweto. Wandi Swandeng in Johannesburg, South Africa, African News.